So you've opened this video because you want a visual explanation for how to create this meme. I do want to reiterate um, that you um, should give some creative time to figuring out um, a meme that you want to create. However, if you are spending more than 30 minutes on your social studies work today, then you need to um, spend a little bit of time on it today and spend more of it tomorrow finishing it up because I don't want you to spend more than 30 minutes on social studies per day. Okay, so how to create the meme. First, I'm going to read the directions. Let me see if I can move these up some so that when you guys are looking at the directions, you can see all four. So step number one says choose the picture you want, drag it into the canvas and stretch it to fill the canvas or you can add your own popular meme photo that is appropriate. I will not show you how to do that. However, if you're somebody that's tech savvy and can do that, great. Have fun doing that, but just make sure your, your um, picture is appropriate. Sometimes what's appropriate at home is not always appropriate in public, and this is a public space where you're sharing something with me in an educational way. So anyways, here's what you do. Take the photo. So I have not really thought about what example I want to give. Um, and so I'm going to choose, let's just choose Oprah here. I'm going to place the picture in the corner and I want to stretch it to fill the canvas. So I just grab the corner and I stretch it. I noticed that some of the grid is still there. So I'm just going to move this down with the arrow. I am not going to stretch it this way because it's just going to look funny. It's going to distort the image. So I'm going to undo that. So I'm just going to center this. Oh my goodness, now my words are missing. So step two, right click the image, hover over, um, right click the image. So I'm gonna right click the image like that. I'm gonna hover over this word order and I'm going to select and send backward. Um, send backward, select send backward. And I wanna click it again, press order and send back. So now the words, the headings have popped up on the front of the photo. Double click on the text box to change the words to your statements. So like a meme, so I'm just double clicking the heading to change here. So Now my heading, I need to move this over a little bit. I still don't like that it's hanging off the page, so I'm gonna double click and I'm going to, oop, I'm going to click the word, I think I can press shift enter, yeah. So to get the word communism to drop down, I'm pressing shift on my keyboard and then enter. And now it works. So I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to line it up with the photo. Who's ready to contain communism? I'm going to put the U.S. So I decided to write, who's ready to contain communism? And Oprah's super, Prompt super excited, the U.S. will, and they're going to contain it in Korea and Vietnam. And that answers today's essential question, which is, why does the United States get involved with the Korean and Vietnam Wars during this Cold War era? I do need to fix this heading quickly, so I'm going to, actually, let's try to do it this way. Let's try to shrink it up like this and see what happens. Oh, I just moved it over. Okay. So I just grabbed this middle bar here and I pulled it over to make the font a little smaller. I want to line this up, move it around with my arrow keys, make it look pretty. Great. So that would be my meme. And then um, it says when you finish, click turn in if you are working through Google Classroom. Um, and so this is a Google Doc. You should be working with Google Classroom. If you're not, then you just share this. Um, this document 
with your teacher, um, how you've been doing that so far during digital learning. Um, I hope this helps um, you. And if you have any questions, just ask your teacher. Bye.